All right, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Nana Episode. I'm your host, Knuckles, aka Lazy Video Games, and your favorite cat girl lover right here. And once again, back up back to Nana Podcast, not podcast, Nana Episode, where we discuss an anime episode, not the season. Nana Podcast is the season. Nana Episode is just clearly that one episode. And we are on episode four of Dragon Ball Diamond right now. And like I said, not a whole lot happens in this episode. It's just, you know, Continue to build up, like I said, with Dragon Ball, when it comes to their arcs a lot, their arcs, you know, are a bit slow at times. It, they build up. Not to say that they're bad episodes, but, like, yeah, I understand what's going on and everything like that. So it does take some time to build up. And we left off episode three where uh, Gloria's uh, ship was taken from those uh, bandits from, I wouldn't say bandits, but, like, those dudes from the bar last night. And I got to say, this episode, uh, Gloria showed he got some hands right there. We never find that, you know, that demon from that, uh, that dark sea or whatever it's called a demon roll right there but yeah he uh shows some hands right there and i like that and so in this one strange is that they stopped at this um looks like this herbal shop right here by some ran by these nice people as well too uh uh goku was was definitely enjoying their the demon food right there and i'm not gonna lie the, uh the stuff looks kind of tasty right there as well too i want some of that but uh oh yeah before they got into that um uh, Goku sets one of the uh, people from the bar to get ready to attack. Him. I believe that's one of the guys from the bar. I, I believe so, or maybe it's just another band. I don't know, but like Gloria was asking him, like, "How'd you know?" So you know, if they sense, he said, hey, uh, "I saw them. I saw them through my key." Like basically, you know, I can sense their energy. I can see like invisible energy right there. So it's definitely like you know some old school Dragon Ball. So we're definitely teaching you know Gloria, you know how we do things around here in the Dragon Ball world right there. So we're letting them know right there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. They come to this uh this uh herbal shop and they have some pretty cool things like they have uh things that you know represent some important Dragon Ball items like they got they got a thing called Metabog that's like basically like a sensu bee you know recovers your stamina and you also have these uh what's like jammy bug they do they can you know have people fuse together so it's like they got some uh it's like they're like the fusion errands that we see in Dragon Ball and then the Sensei Beans, like they have their own version of it in the Demon Row right there. So I thought that was actually pretty cool right there. And like I said, they were ran by these nice people and they asked me, hey, do you have like a vehicle that we can use? Because we got to get to our first to get to the palace right there. And this was a rare moment because Gloria was trying to talk the uh was trying to talk this guy's price down. And for the first time, we see Gloria actually smiled right there. He actually smiled right there. Oh, Glory actually smiled right there. It's pretty cool. So they got to this uh, Sky Seed Rocket, and they flew off. Now, granted, it was basically like a liftoff platform. Like, it doesn't fly. They're just using it, you know, to just, you know, to uh, fly around to uh, go to next location. So eventually they had to actually get jump off from the thing right there. So I thought that was pretty funny right there. But um, as they land, right, they continue their journey. Um, Goku asks, you know, how are Dragon Balls here in this uh, world? And, you know, Gl Gloria basically said that, you know, they're, everyone knows where they're at. They're actually guarded. Like, each demon world in the demon realm has a, uh, I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like the, uh, the Taba Gains, Taba Gabis or whatever like that. Each Dragon Ball is guarded by those guys. You defeat those guys, you get a Dragon Ball. And, of course, you know, Anybody that's strong, Goku's like, I want to fight them. I want to fight them, right? But he he was onto something, right? If we can fight, defeat those guys, each of those guys, we get a Dragon Ball, and I believe it's three Dragon Balls there, because each one has, or is it like, I that that part I gotta look at. Like, I don't know if uh, if they were saying that um. Uh, it was like one Dragon Ball per world or three per world. Because even if it's three per world, that'd be three and one, three and one, and one and the other one because it's three worlds. So I correct me if I'm wrong on that right there. So is it just three Dragon Balls all together right there? But regardless, though, they got to defeat one, right? Then they say we defeat them and grab all the Dragon Balls. We wish for Dana to come back here. And you do see this little stare off between, you know, Gloria and Supreme Kai. As you know, Supreme Kai does not trust Gloria right there. So, so Supreme Kai is definitely like, you know, wary of, you know, Gloria's intention right there. Also, too, what I think uh, Goku sends a little slight uh, jab at him because one part of the episode we say, like, oh, he's joining the Supreme Kai. So it's like, I can actually fight. I'm looking back at myself. I'm like, 
bro. I don't think he had any like fighting moments unless you know you get your butt whooped. You know what I'm saying? Like we could all agree. Like Supreme, I said this before. Supreme Kai, you know, has like he had this nice build up. You're like, yo, this guy seems to be like, yo, really powerful. And Margin Buu sucked the guy right there. So yeah. So I'm like I said, I'm hoping. I said this before. I'm just hoping that this series can, like, you know, have Supreme Kai have its moments because it's like, I don't really, I can't, I don't know if he's had any moments. Like, yeah, he is informative on certain situations right there, but like, he really hasn't been, like, you know, much of a help. And I want him to have his moments. Like, I want everyone in Dragon Ball the universe to have their moments, but Supreme Kai, he just hasn't. So, you know, we will see how that goes, right? So, as he explains, as they both agree, you know, to the plan right there, they do see uh, Goldbust Military Police right there, which I did not know how to pronounce their names, and I'm not even going to bother trying to say that right there, but you see, you know, his, P- his military police be a dick to these poor people, saying, like, you must, you know, give three, give like three worth three coins, and if you don't, that's, uh, you, you forfeit three lives, or whatever like that, I'm like, Damn, man, that's and they use some machine to do that as well, too. Like, so yeah, obviously, we know Goba and his people are freaking dicks right there. So, yeah, so now, as we're you know, you know, take three four, forfeit lives for this old man, we see this one girl who you know, we see on the uh, uh, promotion poster right there, uh, come out and has a bomb. But I'm like, to myself, okay, I don't think this bomb is gonna do anything, and it doesn't. It does. So, you know, Goku with his power pole extension had to come out and save the day. And like I said, even though Goku is not his business, like, Goku still wants to help people. You still have a lot of anime characters. Not just a, uh, it's not just a, um, a, a, a primary hero thing. It's like, you know, it's just a good character thing. Like, when we see things that are wrong, we're going to step in and fight them. Even though it's not our business and we run the risk of being exposed, we can't let that slide. So, you know, shout out to Goku for you, like, give him that work. And Supreme Kai Glory, we're like, yeah, uh, we ain't gonna help. <laughs> we ain't gonna help right there. But, uh, yeah, Goku was giving those guys work, but with him doing it now, Glory told him he's a fugitive. And they do meet up with the with that one girl, Grant. She has the mask on, so we can't see her face just yet, but we'll see. We'll see what goes on, because, like, you can tell that one, that one girl does not like, uh, does not like Goma at all. So, yeah, I think so. I think this series has been going on for like twenty episodes. So, like I said, not a whole lot happened in this episode. Like I said, I did think about, I did think those um uh, those meta bugs were cool, were interesting, and also just learn about the Dragon Balls and you know the uh Demon World right there. So, yeah, like I said, this is still just building up to like you know big time fights, Goma, you know those uh those guards right there. Like I'm really curious to see like you know what those guards can do because they they look like they'll give you the business right there they they don't look they don't look like slackers right there but here's the thing though if goku was in his original form back in his original body if she was in his original body i'm curious to know like would it would they give those guys work I'm curious to know we're never gonna know we could see her and say that yeah but like you know it depends like if the if their kid Forbes could give these guys work, then yeah, clearly, if they were adults, they would whoop these dudes' butts, like, without further, without further, without any further that about that. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's gonna be it for episode four of Dragon Dime right now. Like I said, it's slowly building up. Like, it wasn't, like, a grand episode, but, like, it was a nice, informative episode. I do like that. Like I said, not every episode of anime has to be, like, action, 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 you know? Well, it depends on what anime you're watching, though, but this was very informative a uh, very well uh dialogue right there. So yeah, you know, like I said, I'm still in- intrigued by you know the illustration. And you know, I like I said I'm seeing some old Dragon Ball stuff right there. And, and granted too, you see some GT, which by the way, me and my cousin talked about it. You know, I don't hate GT as much as I do anymore now. Like I, I like I like there the, GT had its had its moments, right? GT had its moments. Like I don't necessarily hate the series anymore. Like you know, I um, I, I kind of really want to rewatch it a little bit. I kind of rewatch it. Like it did have some moments right there, but then not the fact though. It's about talking about time, but and like I said, it was a nice episode, nice informative episode right there. We'll see how things go on. You know, we'll see how things go on our journey right now. And 
yeah, better move than I was in my last video. Hell of a better move right there. You know, very, I'm talking not as fast, but definitely at a slower pace right there, which I guess I'm doing. I got to be talking at a slower pace because I get nervous. Like, no matter how many videos I do right there, I get nervous with videos, but I still have fun with it at the same time. So, so thanks, folks. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. You want to be part of this fan right there. Let me know your thoughts on, you know, how the, uh, the rest of the season is going to go because, listen, I think this, this season is slated for, like, 20-something episodes, so it definitely will not end until, like, you know, sometime, like, early next year. Or maybe. It depends if they're going to break, though. It depends on how much how, how long the break is. But, anyways, let me know, let me know guys. Uh, you have a good one. Y'all take care. And see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. See you soon.